All right, guys, what's up? We got April 3rd, April 3rd's board briefing, and we're starting Monday off with a heavy day. I'm gonna run through the workout and explain it a little bit first, okay? So heavy day, RX, uh, seven sets for load across, so which means we're gonna lift the same loads across all seven sets. One front squat, three back squats. Level two is the exact same as RX. Level one is three front squats, followed by five back squats. How are we gonna perform this? We're gonna perform from the racks, Okay, you're gonna take the bar out of the rack, do one front squat, walk it in the rack, take a deep breath, put the bar on your back rack, take it out, perform three back squats if you're doing the RX version of the workout. Then you'll rack it back up and you'll wait three to four minutes. We're probably gonna have a four minute clock running. Uh, so every four minutes on the four minutes, you're gonna perform a lift for seven sets across. Level one, a little bit different, three front squats, five back squats, so we're building some strength and some capacity through higher volume or more repetitions, okay? This is if this is if you wanna get some practice in on your squats, you're developing your squat, you're a little newer to the gym, you're a little newer to squatting, this volume is gonna help you um, get that practice of squatting with some loading on your back. The loading will be less than the, th the one and three. Obviously, it's gonna be more squats, so you have to lessen the load, but you're gonna get some adaptation from the amount of volume and just good old practice of squatting down below parallel, all right? So on that note, if we're squatting and we're wondering if we're getting below parallel, generally that means you're not, okay? So let's make sure that we're practicing good practice with squatting below parallel. If we're not able to, we got an injury or something like that, let your coaches know. We can do box squats, we can do bench squats, we can do all kinds of different things to help you out, okay? If your legs aren't feeling it, you have a knee injury or something like that, also let your coach know maybe we're doing something upper body tomorrow, all right? Um, as far as time for the workout, or not time domain, but time for how often should I be lifting? Every four minutes, I would say two minutes is too fast. If you're squatting every two minutes, something like this, you're squatting way too light. We should need three to four minutes for this. Matter of fact, we can put our clock every four minutes on the four minutes. We're going to squat for seven sets. Um, for our OG athletes, people who've been around for a while, like the strength training, stuff like that, I challenge you to start at 85% and keep it there for the whole time because this is a cross. So I did the math on mine. The limiting factor is going to be that front squat. Can I front squat 85% of my back squat, right? And then the back squats should be, I'm not saying fairly routine, but 85% still a heavy load. Uh, you should be able to perform those three reps without too much trouble, at, at least in the first couple sets, as long as you're taking your rest. If you come in the gym tomorrow, you get everything set up, everything's ready to go, boom, 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 and you're sort of working on your own and you're done in... 15 minutes, you've missed the point of the workout. Simple as that. This workout is supposed to be strenuous on your central nervous system by being heavy, okay? Let's have some fun with it. Start Monday off with a strength day. Love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.